Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome back. Hopefully, uh, you're looking at this drawing and not thinking, "Whoa, that looks horrible." Uh, personally, I thought it looked okay. It didn't look bad, but I think it needed a lot of help. Uh, this, personally, uh, yeah. Uh, but I actually started with this one. That was the original drawing, and it was a drawing that was made before I went to. Uh, I went out uh, and you know went to the hospital uh, for personal reasons and not not my personal reasons uh, family uh, family based reasons uh, and I had created this drawing and I was gonna upload it to Instagram and hopefully you guys would like it and I thought it looked nice but it needed some tweaking so I started doing flipping back and forth and then I realized oh my god some of the things need adjusting uh, now that I look at it now, it's actually not bad for a not flip and uh, not flipping base drawing. And then so this one was the uh, the drawing that I came up with afterwards. After I flipped it, I thought that the eyes needed adjusting because like the eye just feels weird. So I adjusted them, and then I just like slightly tweaked it in one of the eyes and everything like that. And you know, adjusted the uh, the position of the face, how it looked a little. Uh, see and everything I haven't I haven't actually done all this uh, coloring thing that I did for this there like if I uh, hide this portion and you know the coloring uh, that's how it would look right now and it was supposed to be a makeup for uh, like a you know a drawing that I did and uh, to make up for the fact that I did a bad drawing of the alien queen or alien girl from uh, My Hero Academia. So I was trying to draw her again from a different perspective, different angle, and my and my own style sort of thing, and approach it and then go about it. Uh, I thought uh, I think personally this one came out looking like my best drawing. I also went out of my way to draw this thing. Uh, it looks horrible, and I thought that that might help me out, but. Then after I did this, I ended up with this, and as you can tell, it did not help me out. You know, uh, some things will help you out, some things won't. Uh, maybe some of the proportions for this look right and uh, stylistic, but not my style. It just looks funny looking uh, to my own liking. So I'm gonna go about the process of coloring it within 15 minutes, and you know, refining some uh, things here and there, and so on and so forth. It may be a little bit over time, I'm not sure, and it's just gotta be in addition to whatever we already have. Hopefully you guys do enjoy, and if you do uh, enjoy it all the way to the end or not, enjoy it either way. Uh, well, if you do enjoy it, leave a like. If you don't enjoy it, leave a dislike. I I'll take either. Uh, and a comment, at least that way I know how you feel about the, uh, the drawings. Or the the content that you're washing. I'm trying to like figure out what sort of, uh, sorts of brushes I can be using. Uh, now the capacity is like that. I want it to be kind of pinkish, probably towards this pink, like that. See how that looks. I like it, but it needs to be wider. I'll probably be using this maybe making it bigger I'm not sure yeah and then adjusting some of it she's all pink and then all this is dark so I made sure to turn it all dark I will have a reference also on the side because you know can't really draw her without a reference so I'm gonna open up really quickly pure ref this should show up right here hopefully there and I'm just gonna quickly go online I had my tabs open check out my channel you know uh, this is my own channel page so I'm just gonna go machine and, you know subscribe follow me on Instagram by the way uh, what else it was Ellie no Ellie and girl I hear a statement. And 
and then I just look up pictures. I don't know if this is so you guys can see pictures. I'm gonna look up images, probably close ups of her face, and see how people draw her. This one looks like something that would be seen in the uh, in the uh, what's it called the uh, the anime. Uh, I don't know who the artist for this one is. I'm not trying to copy them. I'm just trying to uh, see the colors and how uh, how it was drawn personally. Uh, her eyes tend to be very big. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I, I want one with the uh, with the mask on, uh, and some without the mask, so that I could see if I messed up in any of the portions. Uh, portions. This one has a mask on, but it's really far. Uh, so I'm probably gonna some uh, click into it and then nope, drag and drop it there, and then just. Uh, Actually, just I could just leave it like that and I'll put it right there. That one will have the mask. Uh, what else? I need another one with a mask on. No, that doesn't look like it's that it is part of the show completely. Uh, this character is funny. She always ends up getting into the weirdest. Uh, Situations. Wait, does oh she does have horns? Holy crap! I forgot to draw her horns to begin with. Wow. I think I've seen so many fan arts that don't have horns, or, or do they all have horns? Horns, horns, horns. Yeah, they, they all have horns. Hmm. I need to draw horns. So I'm gonna quickly draw that because right now it just looks like a girl that has like, a. Uh, you know, has it uh, has some things, but where's the mask? I want some close up of her with her uh, with the mask on. Where is the mask? I guess most of the time you see her without a mask. So there, someone drew her with a mask, but it's not the same mask. Her mask doesn't look like that. This will take a while. Probably I should have prepared this before. Or maybe I should just draw her without a mask. Does uh, would that really change much? No, okay, so this uh, this person's cosplaying her, but she doesn't have a mask on. Even though when she wears her outfit, she normally has a mask on. Same here. And see, a lot of fan arts with them. This one has a mask. I'll take that. Uh, use that as a reference. Okay. I, I, I can't seem to find a lot with a mask on, but I wanted her to have her mask on. Seems like the portions are okay. Doesn't look that far off. Probably just needs the horns though. Uh, so I'm gonna go here and then probably do as. No. Yeah, I'll go into the same layer. No. Layer above. And I had to quickly draw her horns because the whole entire purpose of this uh, drawing was to do it without uh, what's it called? Without any problems uh, uh, being in the, already in the way. Why does it feel like uh, the pressure is like thrown off a little for me? Maybe I need to scale it down. Now make it really dark. See if that's it. Uh, have our horns kind of like this. Now they go inwards and then they go outwards. So it's like this, and then that way, and then that way, and then like that. Uh, if I was trying to uh, make sure everything was in the right proper spot, I will go for a white color right here, and then make sure everything is settled and just done. I'm doing the light color over it to make sure that everything has 
is but it's not a white color, it's more like uh that one looks a little pink. Alrighty. Try to do some minor uh, some erasing in those spots. Also, I'm erasing in the hair area. And do some soft erasing also. And also add another one. Back here. What's it called? Right there. Maybe I'll do it with this solid brush. See if that uh, looks nice. And then I'm just gonna pass it with the dirt. So it's good to have like a nice sketch sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Pass away. Trying to get the tones across. Erase some of the spots. That. And soft erase the bottom. A little. Seems like that needs to be bigger though. Maybe it's just me. But I'm gonna make it bigger. Just because I think it needs to be bigger. somewhere there and then tap out of that go back onto my drawing and yeah that's that's what we got the alien girl right there uh, let's get started with the coloring because we need the coloring obviously we need the base colors so really quickly I'm gonna pick out some colors so I'll probably go for a very bright pinkish uh, towards white Cause pink is like it's like reddish purple towards white. See, Should I see. That looks like a nice color for her. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna pick also this brush, which, which is the one I use for painting. Cause it it gives like a nice sort of color. Uh, and I'm gonna go. Probably slightly darker. And let's get started. Let me put the timer on the clock. 15 minutes. Start. And coloring time. Coloring time. Uh, probably press delete because I don't want any color area. That seems to be done in the wrong layer. Okay. And you know, let's get started with the coloring. It's really simple. And because it's on a separate layer, it won't really affect the uh, what's it called the uh, the already done drawing. That's how I was trying to affect it, but I'm not. And then afterwards, after I pick out a nice pink to throw all over this, I uh, probably have the pink actually over everything. Because I want this to have a color. No, a color would be nice, but uh, I want to have a additional. No, is it normal? Uh, screen multiply, multiply. Yeah, multiply there will uh, will be nice uh, on it. And I'm just gonna quickly just pass it over everything. Really rough pass over this area. Darken up some of the spots. 
passage again. Do a quick thing. Go for a very light color uh, and then just pass the white over some of it. So it gives it like a nice light. Uh, what else? I want her lips to be very pinkish. Very nice and noticeable. Uh, nose also has like a nice reddish tone to it. So out of the face. This is the neck right here. I'm just passing this darkish uh, pink all over it. Uh, what color her eyes? Her eyes are more like a yellow mustardy color. Uh, so I'm gonna do that quickly. And uh, uh, kind of blend in some of the color right here uh, actually. For the mask, because I have this drawing right here, but I didn't blend it, which I should have really blended it. So I'm gonna grab the blend tool and then just, just the right there. That is the right there. Hmm, it's not really blending. I think I was expecting it to. Another layer, and then I'm just gonna pass a really dark around here. And we quickly pass it underneath, so then it gives it like a nice shadow. Uh, I want a bright color somewhere here. Somewhere here too. And I want to blend all this stuff. I don't know why it's not blending though. This is supposed to be blended. Or smudge it as you can this much. Oh, it smudges a little. Smudges to my liking. Okay, good. Back to the uh, to this color. I wanna go back to this. Actually, to the soft eraser, and I'm just gonna erase this portion right here, and then add another layer underneath. This one's gonna have the mask color, which is gonna be a almost brown. Creamish color, and I'm gonna make sure I'm in the right layer. Make sure to get all of it. Get the whole entire mask. Sometimes I, uh, it is better to just color with a solid uh, base color. Uh, right now I have like my thing is kind of like set with opacity. Turned up a little. Uh, Stop the eraser. I don't want this portion. This portion is going to be the hair. And so it's this right here. And so it's this. So that I turned out the opacity on. I don't want it to be too noticeable. Uh, now the hair. The hair will be on the same pink layer that I had prior. I'm gonna go for a really dark pink. Oh, you scared me. Uh, see, pa. Okay, give me a sec. Mm, gotta go downstairs soon. Don't uh, don't know uh, how much time I have on the video. I'm just fixing up some of the line work here. Well, not fixing up the line work, more like coloring it in, making sure some areas get darkened, some areas get light, and uh, get a nice light pink on it. But the hair is darker than the skin so 
probably also get a mature too. So keep, yeah, keep that in mind. And wherever we're coloring. Heck, like even if your hair is blonde, sometimes your hair can uh, tend to be uh, darker than uh, than your skin, and that's your skin. Uh, your skin is like a nice, uh, like unless you are dark skinned and your hair is blonde. I'm doing a video, bro. I'll be going down in a sec. Excuse the interrupting. So, Do you know why my bed is the way it is? Your bed? Yeah. What's wrong with your bed? It's not... Well, the way it's supposed to be. That's not very specific, bro. This is my younger brother. If you hear him, yeah, and uh, that's because he was talking a little second ago to me. I feel like shit. Excuses, a uh, negative uh, attitude towards uh, towards everything. Uh, who's there? Hey, Dad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice, right, Tom. That's your Spanish for say bendición, which means uh, bless you. Trying to figure out what co uh, whether I did the right coloring or not. Uh, maybe I'll go for like a purplish uh, color for this, or not completely. I'm gonna try coloring everything as much as possible in the same layer. I'll just be like that. The clothing uh, is gonna be more like a brown color. Just like something like that. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. Get the darkest color first. Sometimes. And then go for a brighter color. It's easy to uh, add white, uh, like add lighter uh, shades on it. See? And let's do the background because, you know, we need, uh, we need something for the background. You need to, uh, to make sure this drawing kind of like stands out uh, above everything. I like how uh, the colors are green, and since I don't have any green, I'll, I could actually do that green. If you notice, right, uh, pinks are over here, and then greens are over here. It's complementary colors, but it's more like a greenish mint, so it's going to be somewhere around here, this sort of field. So I'm going to do that really softly pass over uh, the background I'm trying to like really quickly pass it, it is, I'm not caring too much whether it is accurate or anything uh, else. I'm almost done with it. Probably the best thing to do sometimes is to actually make sure that your brush is big for some of the bigger areas, like this. And just quickly pass over it. Sometimes it's better to just erase whatever you, you need to erase. 
than to go around some of the edges. Because now I can just grab the eraser and then quickly pass it over some of this. It's kind of tricky uh, for me. Uh, no, I got I got like this. Uh, what's it called? Screen protectors on uh, Amazon. Well, you know, like how Amazon does like so much third-party stuff. Uh, so they sent me uh, the screen protectors for my tablet, and they looked fine to a certain extent. Do this bright color, something like that. Make sure that the the face has like this bright color around it. I like that sort of thing. Makes it pop out a little bit more. By the and the arm and the hand too. And then afterwards, I press Control, click here, and then mix it. This will be good for blending. When you're trying to blend colors, you just mix a little here and there on the colors. Click in mid-tone color, and then just blend up with that. Go back to the eraser. It's this is a completely separate layer. I want to make sure that none of the important parts are getting covered. Uh, what else? Her horns are probably about the same color as this right here. So I'm going to quickly do that with this solid color right here. Uh, solid thing right here. And it'll be right there. Right, brighter. Make it smaller. Not too small though. Because then I can't really do some details. And voila! Now we got the uh, the alien queen or whatever. Or alien. Uh, alien uh, girl from My Hero Academia and then I'm gonna use the smush tool this one and then just smush out the edges to blend it out a little bit more make sure that mask has some color essentially but at the same time not being too overpowered And yeah, maybe go some really dark color and then I add that above and I do that with this brush right here. And nope. Oh, time's up. But I'm gonna go with a darker color. I wanna fix up the eyes. And I wanna blend that in a little. Then afterwards, softly erase part of it. And then what I gotta do is turn down the opacity. And not that the eyes are visible. Her eyes are bigger, uh, personally, but I like this sort of style. I like this sort of coloring. It's it's not too extreme. You can kind of see the features. You can see the colors. In my uh, own look, uh, personal idea, it looks nice. It could use a lot of refinement, personally. But, you know. let's, let's flip it back and forth, see how it looks. She looks kind of like if she's dancing with herself. Da, 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 da. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna call it a day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike for any re uh, for any reason uh, that you want to comment. You know, feel free to comment. I will respond. 
And what else? Check out my channel. It's right there. And check out my latest video up here. Anyways, thank you all for joining me. And have a good one.